Hey everybody, just wanted to uh, take you on a walk again. I think the last time we did this I was uh, three feet deep in the snow. Things are a little different now, which is good. I, uh, I know a lot of us have been uh, sort of walking around stunned trying to figure out what in the world is happening in our world. And I just have to say it's it's challenging. We're living in challenging times. And uh, if there's anything I can say to everybody at Compass is that God is faithful. He's been faithful to us in so many ways and I'm sure that throughout your life you can count numerous times that He's been faithful. And I think as we walk into that faithfulness we find ways to be able to let others know how much Jesus loves us and how much we need to, to leave the things that uh, we kind of find so comfortable and step out and be courageous in the world that we're at right now the world that we're in I wanted to give you a heads up about the uh, this coming Sunday and uh, the days to follow. Uh, we at Compass Church this coming Sunday will not be meeting in the clubhouse as a group. We will be uh, live streaming. I believe we'll be live streaming from the clubhouse, but it'll just be the few of us that will be there. Uh, we're working on trying to get our worship band together and then we'll have a time of teaching. And we're going to do that at 10 o'clock in the morning. So um, set your alarm to tune in to Facebook and YouTube. We're going to have both of those things uh, going out. We'll give you the uh, links so that you can see and uh, be a part of that. We're also going to do some uh, teaching from the uh, Compass Kids Camper. Uh, probably around 11 o'clock we'll start that. And so if your kids are around, we're going to have a little bit of fun with that. So. Just have them uh, get on the Facebook or YouTube and get ready to interact with us. So excited about that. But just to let you know that this doesn't surprise God what we're going through. Um, he is faithful and He's always going to be there with us. I feel like this is a great time for the church to be a source of hope and light in our community and our world. Uh, this is a time when we need to live out and exhibit kindness wherever we go. Whether we're waiting for uh, to check out in the grocery store or when we go through the places of business that seem to be closed or going through drive through only or whatever it is, uh, we need to smile, tell people that Jesus loves them, encourage them. Uh, the world uh, is not our home. The Bible says that we are aliens in a strange land, but we're here and we need to be faithful and we need to be loving. And I believe that we're going to do that in a, in a great and amazing way. So for the next few weeks, uh, this is going to be our new normal for a while. I want you to know that we're going to be working hard to connect with you all through the week in various different ways. Uh, I plan on doing that myself. But I also know that we're going to work well as a community together to just represent God's love in tons of ways. So be on the lookout for that. I will be emailing out links to the live streams and also some other resources. Uh, if you remember back, we had a, we still do have um, Right Now Media and a lot of resources for families and kids and, and everybody as far as while they're at home. Some great things that they can watch. You can use your mobile device, tablet, computer, even your um, streaming devices. If you have a Roku or even Apple TV, you can use use it. So I just want to pray, and I'm going to just encourage you guys, and love to get your feedback and your thoughts. So let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for your love. Thank you for who you are. Thank you that you are a mighty God that is bigger than all this stuff. And Lord, we know right now in Jesus' name that you called us and you ordained us for this very moment in time so that we can bring people 
to you and to represent your love to others in times of crisis. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, let us know if you guys need anything. I know there are some of us in our church that might not be able to get out and do some things during this time. Uh, know this, that we're here for you, and we're more than willing to do anything that we can and need to do. God bless you guys. Have a great evening.